Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the fastest possible response time uh, with any controller, uh, Xbox, PS4, or whatever. Um, and the trick actually is to overclock your controller. Now I know that sounds scary, uh, but I promise you it sounds scarier than it actually is. Uh, it's pretty easy and I'll literally walk you through everything so you don't have to worry about a single thing. Uh, on top of that, I'll be showing you guys what to do after overclocking your controller if DS4 or Windows uh, isn't working as it should be, such as like binds not working and other issues like that. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I should tell you is that your controller must be plugged in for this to work. I know some of you, especially uh, PS4 controller users out there, uh, might have heard that PS4 controllers are faster via Bluetooth than plugged in through a wired connection, um, which is true unless of course you're overclocking like I'm about to show you now. Um, and I can actually show you a little bit of proof right here. So if I open my DS4 and I go to my controller readings, uh, you can see right now that my controller says it's about a 3 to a 3.5 uh, millisecond response time or input delay. And if I had it via wireless, which I usually, which I used to do, um, I'd get around a 1.2 to 1.5, um, and that would actually increase if I had other Bluetooth devices connected to my PC. At, um, sometimes they go up to a three or so. So anyway, I'm going to be showing you all how to get a uh, sub one response times. So literally less than one millisecond input delay, or even um, sometimes maybe up to a one. If you're at a ten right now, maybe you go down to a one. But most people should be less than uh, one. So the first step uh, in order to do this is you need to download the software I have linked in the description uh, below. Uh, but I, I guess I'll show you uh, the link right now. So if you go here, uh, this is the website. Uh, you're going to want to press this one. Oops, let me press it. You're going to want to press this. Um, just uh, the name on the side. And then you want to press download, of course. And then once you download it, um, it's going to show up as this. I have WinRAR, or you could use 7-zip, but you want to right-click, and then you want to extract here, uh, wherever you're saving it to. Once you've extracted it, you should get this driver file. You're going to want to double-click the driver file, and then go to Setup gonna ask for permission uh, yes of course next you're gonna want to change from mouse to all and um, this is probably gonna be the hardest part of overclocking it's finding your controller so you want to extend this out the the child's name so you can easily see what's what um, and for me I can see here that it clearly says wireless controller and that's what I'm looking for so as you can see right now, I have no filter on, my rate's default, and my interval is 5. So I want to change all of those, so I'm going to click on my controller. I'm going to go down to default, and I'm going to change that to 1000. I'm also going to change uh, yes to the filter on this device, and then I'm going to press install service. After that, I'm going to press restart. Once it restarts, you can see that now my filter is set to yes. I have a thousand rate and it says one for the interval. And if that's what yours says, you've pretty much done it right and correct. And you're already done overclocking. It was literally that easy. Um, and I'll show you guys quickly the difference. So if I open DS4 again and I go to controller readings, you can see that I am now sub zero for my input delay. It is less than a one. And that is exactly what we're looking for. Um, now, like I said, if your uh, input delay was already uh, really high, like it was a 10 or so, maybe you only go down to a 1 after doing all of this. Um, and a 1 is still great, but maybe if you still want to go to that half a millisecond, you know you want the best of the best, uh, you can try making sure that your controller, your USB control, uh, the USB cable connects to your controller, is plugged into a USB 3 port. Uh, that's what I have mine set to. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that makes a difference, but I'm just trying to think of possible problems um, in advance. So, you could try plugging yours into a 3.0 USB port. Maybe you only have 2.0s, and that's fine. You know, you, it, you just want to get a noticeable difference. And for most people, if you drop anything, it'll be a noticeable difference, and that's what we're looking for here. So, um, with that, you're, you're done overclocking. You're literally done. So now, if you pressed on this video because uh, you already overclocked your controller and your binds aren't working on DS4 or you're getting double input uh, or, you know, whatever reason, you know, maybe you're getting other problems, uh, I have a simple fix for you that fixes most problems that you have after overclocking. Uh, not all, though. 
So what you want to do is go back to your DS4 and go to the main page and you want to go to settings. Once you click settings, you're going to want to go to hide a DS4 controller. Let me ask you for your permission. You just press yes and boom. Can you believe it? Your problem's fixed. Just like that. That's literally all you have to do. Um, I had this problem when I was playing Warzone. I have custom binds set to my controller and they were not working. And after putting on high, it does work. And from what I've heard, basically your controller tries to run through some Xbox services uh, and Xbox controller services and programs and whatnot. And by hiding your controller, you're now basically uh, removing your controller from going through those services, which will allow your custom binds to work because they no longer have to run through that other service. Um, and that's literally, that's pretty much it. So, uh, you know, if this video helped you, no pressure, but feel free to uh, like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if it helped you. And if it didn't and you need some more help, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to you as quick as possible with an easy solution. Anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Bye.